Hello everybody, I have a fantastic guest today who I am going to educate and slightly frighten. I'd like to introduce Lindy Beige of the Lindy Beige channel. Hurrah! This is a reproduction 15th century medieval saddle and the important thing is it's quite different to a modern saddle um, and I think it's really important for Lloyd to sit on this before he sits on a horse that might cause him injury, death, destruction or, or, or otherwise uh, impact on him. So what we're going to do You'll, you'll, note, you'll note that the design of this actually is quite different. It's designed to keep you in the saddle mm. uh, in, in stressful situations. It's got this very high... Yeah, that's quite figure-hugging, isn't it? Yep. So these sit round, mm. round your hips, basically, and this protects key areas of your body. Yes, from which I'd impact. like to keep. Um, but also, it means it's quite difficult to get in. So um, you're going to have to get your leg quite high up. This is about the same height as a medieval horse. It's not actually... A big horse though but this is the sort of mm. average height they would have been even destriers uh, because they didn't have a huge horses they had some but they didn't have mostly big horses but this is about the height so i thought mm -hmm. right let me just let me just explain so the stirrups hang sideways so when you get on if you if you stand facing the back of the horse oh right so you would have the horse's head here yep. you face the back and then you turn that way and put your foot in Mm -hmm. like that and then both hands on there and then we'll hold this down and then if you swing yourself to the saddle oh right. that was that was remarkably well done i'm quite impressed oh, I, was was hoping, <laughs> I was hoping for right foot in okay right now okay so far so easy how does how does that feel um well the back i'm up against the back and that's keeping me in position quite nicely let's have a look at um, where you're sitting it, yes, I'm so right you up want... against it. if i were wearing uh, any plate armor there that would be a problem right. um but uh, i'm not um can you do can you point your feet straight we see that in illustration so if you if you wedge your knee against the front of the saddle a little right bit, yes and then point your point your okay feet. The, the stirrups are too short for me to do that it's, right. it's pulling so me up can, out can, of the saddle would you like me to lengthen them for you uh if you think that's necessary for this yes. to fit me yeah i will lengthen them just so that you okay. can get the effect so if you take kick your foot out mm -hmm. slide this out the top uh, of this saddle not isn't going to be able to they're as long as they go unfortunately you must oh. be extraordinarily long we'll we'll, we'll work with it um <sighs> stirrups are for learners anyway <laughs> I reckon stirrups are mostly for enable you to get on a horse as opposed to do anything well, else. Supposedly the very first stirrups in China were for that. If they were for old people to get on to, uh, horses. Ah. So perhaps uh, you know, at first it was not a manly way to get on a horse at all to use a stirrup. You should just vault. <laughs> well, you're on a vaulting horse with a saddle that is a vaulting horse is converted to make a little. You know the gymnastics where they have the, mm -hmm. the front and the back? Yep. That is based on a medieval saddle, and we have records of people using that to move around on the saddle. So, oh, can you? Right. So, you want me to do that sort of. You could, you could spin around. With and my legs <laughs> thing. Yeah, okay. You well, could, we'll do that later. Yeah. Shall I get you a sword? Uh, okay. I'll get you a, one of my Let's training swords. Whoops. Um, your feet in? Yep. Have a sword. Now, are you, are you about. Yeah, that's I it. You've got to stay about, about balance. Yeah, it does move a bit. The girth strap's not quite as tight. Now as you're going to have a horse here. Yes. So you've got to hit that side or that side. You can't hit this side because there's a big horse in the way. And right. They so moves take that. moves like this a right out. Yeah. Uh, unless you want a spectacular fall. Okay. Uh, so and a very expensive so bill. I can afterwards. strike that way, and I can strike that way, and that way, and that way. Yes. Now, can, we, yes. we talked about this with cavalry. Mm -hmm. You are, if I'm here, yes. you've got quite a difficult effort, Tony. If you're me. there, I, I will just go that way as fast as I can, really. Yeah. I just want to be somewhere else, and then I'll turn around and come back the That's right exactly way. That's exactly the right thing to do. Horses, you have got a height and speed advantage, haven't you? 
Mm. But if you're here, you can see how vulnerable you are. Or even this is the this is the death quarter. You really don't want somebody. I'll get, I'll get a yeah, spear. That, that is super awkward. Yeah. I'll get a spear without a sharp end. So if I've got a halberd or something, yep. and Big I'm here, thing. and you know, yeah, just away. I want to be away. You're literally, there's if very I've got little. A shield, I suppose. I you might have, a, you might have an attempt, yeah. But Richard the Third got stabbed, we think, somewhere under here. So it's not impossible that he leant forwards and was stabbed, stabbed mm. from behind, up into the small of his back. Uh, we don't know. It's possible it was done after post-mortem. Well, he, it looks as though he had several guys on him at once. Yeah. Attack, yeah. Being attacked from all yeah. quarters. So, uh, yeah, so if you're there, if I'm using my sword to defend myself, I've got a terrible, terrible weak yeah. parry. Yeah. So if you've got somebody coming at this way, you can obviously... Well, you've gone Except through I went horse. through my horse's yeah. neck there. Okay. So you've got to, Over my horse's yeah, neck. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Like that. And, and if I'm here, this, mm -hmm. is, this is obviously where you're likely to be hit from. Yeah. yeah. And there's also a technique. If you hold the sword vertically. Like that? No, vertically pointing up. Oh, right, yes. And just have it sort of along where your face is, sort of there. Yeah. And all you do, if somebody's coming at you, you just move the, you displace one the way sword or the one other. way or the other, and it just yeah. misses. Yeah. And you, it's, it's actually not a very big movement. Yeah. Just to get the point away. And once the point has gone past you, uh, you, well, then, I can then... you then tip, tip it or point towards me. Yeah, and I'm imagining I'm on a horse moving yeah, that way and then you step towards me. Yeah. yeah. So there's some very simple techniques in the fight books. But um, as, as a footman, mm -hmm. you probably want to try and get around like this. And you <laughs> will be moving your horse to, to go, either go away <laughs> yeah. or, or turn around. Because I always think it's, it's funny in the movies, because obviously actors aren't necessarily very good at riding. And they're usually on quiet horses. Mm -hmm. um, and therefore, and they want to film them, and they should be moving. Should oh be yeah, in the, all the movies, they ride straight into a unit of infantry and then stop, and all just then fight downwards, and nobody thinks of stabbing the horse. Yeah, and everybody's doing everybody's doing this at them, and they're, they're all fencing, yeah, as opposed to this. <laughs> ah, oh dear, yeah, straight yeah. over. Yeah, yeah, if you're a cavalryman, as soon as you've stopped, you've lost all your advantage. You said uh, a moment ago that uh, I have a height advantage. I'm not sure that my height is that much of an advantage. I have one angle of attack against you, which is mm. down, and you have down, medium, and up. You've got three angles of attack against yeah, me I've yeah. got to worry about. So I'm standing here, yeah. Yeah, I've got that, essentially, on you, or I suppose a thrust, but the, the, the direction is down. Um, whereas I've got to worry about your tripping my horse, stabbing my horse, or going for me. Yeah, and there, of course, if I'm going to stab the horse, you can sort of hit me as you go past. Maybe, um, maybe. Possibly, yes. Think, um, I suppose it depends how long it is, which is why pikes, I guess. Exactly. Okay. If you, you're likely to outreach me with, with an infantry weapon. Um, plus, if you are stabbing my horse, I may have other priorities. You know, you, you may say, oh, well, as I'm falling, I can load my, my bow and shoot you twice, uh, which you've probably seen that video, haven't yeah, you? Yes. And I think that, no, actually, if I'm falling off a horse, I've got other priorities at that moment. Have, and even have, you, with a, have you fallen? Ever? I have never fallen off a horse, no, though I am aware that that is not a, a, a sign of necessarily a good rider. It's more a sign of an inexperienced or inadventurous one. Unadventurous. I, I have fallen, and trust me, all you're thinking about is the awful impact that's going to happen. This is going to very hurt. Very momentarily. Yes, I hope there's no rock there. Yes, exactly. Can I get you a spear? Of course. Um, let's swap. Let, we don't take, have take, a take scabbard. This, right? Take this one. Yep. And this gives you a bit more of an idea. Now, obviously, you can use it as stabbing like that, mm -hmm. but you can also couch it, which would be probably anti-cavalry. So that gives you less length, mm -hmm. but it gives you more impact, theoretically. And you, get it, you can have a lance rest, so you, yep. you, know, you can really lean into it. And we see so a really you odd... So you say lean into it, I would be literally yeah, like that Yeah, we see legs, saddle, for, yep. legs forwards. So if you put your legs forwards, yep. and le we actually see that in manuscripts. There's sort of a properly leaning in. Right. Now, right now, I don't feel so safe because of my long legs. This has actually mm. lifted me off. I'm now above yeah. the back of this. You see that as well. We see people lifted up out of the saddle in the illustrations right. to give that impact. Because I guess if there's a big hit, yeah. you're going to be pushed backwards. 
So I want to, I want to, I want to be down where this back. Well, I would think so, but it appears is, is that they, they, they sort of lock themselves in a V shape. You see it, and, and there's, a, right. there's, a, there's also a, a you'll have a shield here as well, and a, there's a there's a shield often held with the elbow out like, like that. that. Yes, you see the hand. Uh, if I do it from your angle, mm -hmm. you see the hand like that, and the elbow, the elbow holding the shield away from the body like that. It's very awkward looking. Okay, I'm uh, a bit more further forward. So, uh, hand hand lower, right. elbow. Twist your body a little. This is a heater, is it? Yeah, heater with the heater shield. Okay. Yeah, uh, you've got the heater over there. We could yeah, we we could try, try it. it. Although, of course, how the heater was held, how it was strapped at the back, is itself uh, something of a, a controversial topic. Well, and it this one is just fairly quite a few variations. Vanilla. This but is that's a, a very common one. Yeah. I think more for foot actually, but see. So if the elbow's out, it's like that. Well, let me see if I can remember how it was. You grab it. It was. Um, it was almost like the. I can't really do it. Um, it's almost downwards. Yeah. I can't. I can't do it. But it, it was. It was like that. Hmm. Can't really see. So it was elbow there and the reins there. So the shield was at that kind of angle. Oh, clearly there must be a different strap arrangement. It, it has to be, doesn't yeah. it? Because, uh, but that would then act as a deflection. So if you hold it there somehow, mm -hmm. and then couch your lance, from this angle, yeah, you haven't got, and if you were, if you were striking this way, yeah. you've got an awful lot of protection, that shield. Yep. And it deflects things away, so. Yes, I didn't understand you first, because with my elbow out, it seemed to be deflecting into me, but. Uh... You mean the elbow out that way? Well, have, we'll have a look some, at some, some illustrations. But yeah, yeah, they seem to hold it, hold it away from the body mm -hmm. to give it that angle. Um, and it, they really sort of crouch into it. That would work. Yeah. Don't forget you've got the reins as well. So when we get you on a real horse, we will see how it feels because you've obviously got all the movement of the horse yeah. to, to deal with. and. Um, uh, yeah, I think. I this think that... saddle isn't like a modern saddle which has a fairly gentle uh, top to it. This comes to a fairly definite point, and uh, I, am, I am noticing that on my gentle, gentleman parts a little bit. Why don't you try taking your feet out of the stirrup? Let's see what this, how the stirrups, and, and really lengthen. Yeah, so you'd need another couple of inches on the, on the length of those stirrups. Mm -hmm. um, but we do see that. We also see toes pointed. So if you point your toes. Like that. Yeah, we see that, that position as well. Okay, that would give you cramp very quickly, I think. Yeah. Right, shall we, shall we get you off and get you on a real horse? Oh, that, 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 I've, I've mastered this now, have I? You, well, what would you like? Well, we could, we could look at flags. What about a full length late medieval spear? Would you be interested in having a at that? A, a full length late medieval spear, why not? Okay, let's go and get one. Now this, this bad boy, is a replica of the type of lance that's seen in the Battle of San Romano picture. Oh, I've seen that picture, yeah. Let me put this one back. So this um, is ash, by the looks of it. That is ash, and it's a sharp point, so it's, be careful with it's it. It's not that heavy. It's not as heavy as I was expecting it to be. You are holding it at the balance point. Though. Yes, as I, if I rest it on a foot there and, and keep it vertical, that's easy. That's, I, I, can, I could do that all day. But bringing it forwards, oh yeah, now I'm feeling it. And this is, <laughs> this is easy because of course I'm stationary, but if the horse is trotting, yes. oh my word, <laughs> ah, I'm gonna be struggling with that, yeah. And we do see people using it two-handed as well in one of the illustrations. So somebody's obviously given up and they, they're standing like that. So. Um, works for me. Yeah. I'd, yeah, I'd be quite happy. And if someone comes around behind me, two-handed is definitely the way to go. Yeah. Put any force into it. You know, people say, oh, you shouldn't do it that way. It's like, I'm sorry, if it's my life on the line and I've got to stab the other person before they stab me, then I'm going to do yes. whatever it Where takes. Where does it say in the rules, one hand only? <laughs> yeah, so I've got to then lift over my horse's head which isn't there yep 
And OK, now it's starting to come a little bit awkward. I have to get my hands close together now to thrust on this side. It's becoming... OK, now, if I want to thrust, if you were to step to yeah. that way, now it's really difficult to get you with two hands. Yes. In fact, practically, I can't really get it past there. With that long lance, I reckon you've almost, you, you almost couldn't get it past about halfway. Um, Unless I swapped hands, of course, I could do that. Well, yes, that's true. Yes. Now I can get you. And there's a couching technique, mm -hmm. which is to couch it under your left hand. Oh, right. Your left arm. That's it. Now you hold it in the, you hold it with that hand. You've got your reins, you've got your reins on here. Right. And then you couch it like that because then it can't be deflected that way. No, so I can resist the, that. I can resist that quite strongly. Yeah, so it's in one of the fight books, and it's right. really, it's really awkward if you don't practice it. So it's, it's interesting. All these things need to be practiced. But I wonder whether anybody would notice if you were couching it on the, under the wrong arm. Huh. In in a, in a sort of war situation. I just. I'll say again, holding it is easy, but holding it, imagining the horse galloping. Oi, you'd have to be strong to hold that steady with a horse bouncing up and down. I always feel that jousting is actually about lowering. You, you, you carry it and balance it, and it's about the timing of the lowering. Yes, if so, you, go, so if you, you, go beyond, you set off towards your opponent with the, ho the uh, spear uh, lance pointing into the sky, and then you, you drop it into position just in time. <laughs> yes, and you hope the, otherwise it goes to the ground. And if it hits the ground, which it could do, you going to be pinged out of the saddle, aren't you, potentially? Uh, I suppose. Yeah. I think, again, you are allowed to let go of the lance. Yeah, but if it's caught up under your armpit oh, and if it's under got a lance big rest... Thing on the lance rest, yes. You yes, could be very going, oh, embarrassing. I can't get rid of it. And, uh, and everybody would laugh at you if you survived the battle. They'd, no, they'd, they'd be too polite. <laughs> would you like to ride a real horse? Well, yes, uh, but wasn't plan A that I stay on this and you ride on a horse at me? OK, that's a very good idea. I will go and get A more on... gentle stepping stone. OK, I will do that then. I'll go and get on Warlord. Um, uh, he should Warlord. be nice. Warlord. <laughs> okay. He's nice, safe. He's, a, he's an older horse, but I, he's the one I've been jousting on much of my life. So um, he shouldn't do anything <laughs> alarming. Good. But with horses, you never quite know. So stay on your toes. He's not a robot. Um, mm -hmm. And if you see me looking like I'm panicking, uh, try and get out of the way. Right. OK. Handy safety tip. Thank you. <laughs> right. I will. He'll be, he'll be fine. Don't worry. Right. And like, get off. You, you, I you, just sort of that's slip an interesting, out. Ooh, gosh. No, is that not the way to do it? No. no. Well, yeah, you do it however you like. There's no rules, but, you know. <laughs> well done. You're, you're actually very physically capable. I'm quite surprised. Because oh. I, find, I find these quite awkward to get into. Um, Especially in armour. 